Hey guys and girls, so I've been messing around with Octoprint for the last sort of 24 hours and um, the main thing I wanted it for was to try out the time lapse feature. So under time lapse, um, I tried the default settings. Um, I've got the Raspberry Pi cam attached. So if we look under control, we can see that that is working. Now, the problem I found was um, there was a couple of things. One, the time lapse wasn't really what I was expecting. It was quite jittery and just basically unpleasant and the quality was pretty poor as well so this is what i got um first time round, and i'll try and show you okay so this is the first time lapse that i managed to grab so as you can see it's quite bad quality the uh, you can see the bed moving you can see the print nozzle on the actual print and um, it just wasn't wasn't really I don't know what I thought I'd get to be honest um, but I wasn't overly impressed it's good don't get me wrong it is it's okay but um, it's not what I'd seen on YouTube and some of the other people doing so I wanted to know how they got such um, sort of good quality time lapses so I did a bit of research and found out about um, Octolapse so I'm going to show you how to install Octolapse and how to configure it for the Ender 3. Um, so bear with me and I'll show you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the plugin. So if you come up to the little spanner icon and click that, you want to come down to Plugin Manager and then just go to Get More at the bottom and just type in Octolapse. Okay, and then click Install. And it will seem like it, it may seem like it takes quite a while. It might hang for a little bit. Give it a little bit of time. And uh, it'll install. It will ask you uh, to do a restart at the end of this. So, um, yeah, here we go. So, restart now. So, we're going to restart the, the Pi. Give that a second. And uh, we can get it configured server offline we can attempt to reconnect won't have started yet but you never know okay so the pi is back online and we've now got a tab which says octolapse so the first thing we're going to do is go to um, the tab and see what's going on so we need to configure this so the printer um, it doesn't have the end of three on here but you can use the cr10 beta and just click configure so it should say CR10 beta. You don't need to change the any of this to be honest. Uh, default. Oh yes, you do need to make sure that this X, Y, and Z axis mode is set to default to absolute. That is really important. If it's not set to um, absolute, it just it does not work. So let's save that. Um, stabilization. So this is where you want the. Um, camera to when you want the camera to take a picture where you want the print head to be so for example um, what what this what this essentially does is it stops the it's kind of stops the print and moves the print head out of the way takes a picture and then moves the print head back so you've got to think about where your camera is in location to um, where the print head is so for me because my camera is mounted on the left hand side facing towards the right um, I want the extruder to be um, at the central right position uh, out the way of the camera so if I had it say to the to the left position it would be in front of the camera so you can play about with these there's lots of different options um, but that's what I need you want your snapshot to be on layer change so every time your layer layer changes uh, it will take a snapshot rendering uh, change this it will it's probably on this default because I've been playing about and stuff so make sure you change this to uh, mp4 30 frames per second worked okay uh, and camera default webcam so we can check the settings on that default webcam that's all fine you don't need to change any of that and no logging make sure no logging is set um, don't have it on test mode or anything like that just no logging absolutely fine um, 
I just want to go back into the rendering. I just want to check. So 30 frames MP4. So pre-roll, um, I've set the pre-roll. You want to have it set at say uh, two two seconds and post-roll around 10 seconds. And what that will do is it will take um, sort of a two second image before the print starts and a 10 second at the end so as you get um, an actual picture of the, the finished model um, ready to go. So that's all good. Uh, time lapse you can turn off under here because we're going to be using octolapse and there's also a setting in uh, cura that you're going to want to change so um, i've already done this but i can show you the change so if we go into cura i'm using 3.5.1 and to be honest the prints i'm getting from the default uh, profile with very little tweaking apart from the travel speed the print speed and the travel speed are really really good and what we want to do here is we want to come up to settings. Uh, let's have a look. Cura, is it settings? Yes. Profile. Uh, printer. So settings printer. Then you want manage printers. And go to your machine settings for your uh, Ender 3 profile. And in your G code, right at the very bottom, um, whether this makes a difference or not, I don't know. It was something I stumbled upon. I will test it without this in, but at the moment, um, I know this works, so I'm just leaving it in. And you just need to put that. So it's uh, capital G90 space, and then you want uh, absolute XYZ mode. Okay, and uh, don't forget your sort of semicolon there so i'll paste it into the description so you can just copy and paste that in you want to close it save it um, and then render your model uh, whatever model you're going to print slice it and get it onto your printer so if we go back to octoprint what i can do now is i can take a time lapse um, of this and uh, i'll come back to you in a second once the print has finished and show you um, what we get. So I'm going to print the uh, the spiral twisty tower from Thingiverse. Going to scale it. I've scaled it down already, so it'll be a smaller version. So I'm going to print that. Okay. So the the prints um, has started. It's uh, it is printing away, and what we've um, what we've got is uh, Octolapse has started taking the snapshots so I can show you how it takes those now and what we've got here is it's currently doing a layer and when um, it's finished sort of a layer it will move the print head out of the way and take a quick snapshot and then this is how it builds up the time lapse which is actually pretty pretty cool so there we go, so it's moved it to that right position, brought it back, and it's that quick. And so that's that's pretty cool how, how it sort of moves the print head out of the way, snaps the picture, and moves it back. Uh, while you're printing, you get a little preview window, and you can just click on here and hit play, and it will show you what it's, what it's sort of started taking um, and doing. Um, and that's that's really it all set up. It's just to show you what result we get. The the time lapses will be saved under once it's finished. It will say done, and your time lapse will actually be under the time lapse uh, tab. So once it finishes, give it a couple of seconds. Um, it takes time to sort of build the time lapse, and then it'll appear in this section here with finished time lapses. Now I would have thought they would have had a tab on here because it's part of the Octolapse tab, but that's not the case. So they will be under here. So uh, yeah, that's it really. So we'll wait for that to finish and then I'll show you the time lapse. Okay, so the print finished and this is the time lapse we got. So I'll play this for you. You can see it is looping through um, on uh, VLC player, but it gives you an idea of what we got. Now, I was pretty happy with this, um, apart from 
sort of one thing and that's the quality the quality was pretty bad um it's got the i'm using the raspberry pi cam and that can do like hd so i didn't really understand why it was so bad and the reason is it's um taking in 640 by 480 resolution so if you come back um, and check out my next video uh, i'll show you how to configure uh, 1280 by 720 at 25 frames a second on um, Octolapse for the Ender 3. Hope this has been really helpful for you and um, do comment below if you've got any tips or tricks. Please remember to like, subscribe and share. Mm -hmm.